Bellarm might get to the postseason and have a chance to play an extended season. That opportunity is not here for you. I know you're ready to get this one behind you and think about Hoover in the tournament. So, what are your feelings about your team heading into postseason? Feel good. Got a good club. Um, playing good ball. I know uh, things didn't go our way today, but still think we're playing good ball and going to the SEC tournament in Hoover and go win. Steph. Coach was talking about some of the close games you guys have had this year, you know, an SEC play, whether it be win or lose. What do you feel like this team has kind of been able to learn in some of those tight games that, you know, regardless of the outcome, you guys can take it to the postseason? Yeah, no, we played in a lot of close games. It seems like a lot of one-run games. And honestly, I think it's going to make us better in the postseason. Um, every game's feel like the postseason so far. And we'll just keep going, and I think it'll make us better in the long run. I know a lot of great teams kind of police each other, right? I mean, so when you get you make a mistake, you see Johnny sometimes patting his chest up there when he didn't get one, and I've seen you do some of the same things too with a rare error. But when you have these base running issues as a team, or somebody misses a cutoff guy, it, it, the coaches really shouldn't have to say anything with leadership on this team. What are those conversations like in the in the clubhouse, or maybe among you guys in the dugout? I mean, we just gotta we gotta practice better, be better, uh, more focused on on the bases, um, do the little things right. Pretty simple. Steph. Got a guy in Joe Powell hitting behind you who's been, you know, obviously playing really well the past week or so. What does he kind of add to the lineup and how big is it, you know, this time of year to have someone like him step up and really get hot? Oh, it's huge. I mean, he's a good ball player. Um, he's a competitor, number one. He likes to compete and um, he's good for our club and he puts up good at bats. So hopefully, he's, and he's going to keep doing it um, in the postseason. Sam? What is your takeaway for this team going into Hoover from this game today? What what was your main thinking? I mean, obviously, I mean, we all wanted to win. We wanted to we wanted to sweep. Um, but sometimes that's baseball, and um, the ball doesn't doesn't fall your way. So um, flush it and go on to the next one. Keep competing. That's all you can do. Steve. Look at you guys were picked thirteenth in the SEC in the preseason by the coaches, and you you finished fifth. Um, Number one, what does that mean to you, and how motivated are you guys to continue to prove people wrong about this club? I mean, we talked about it in the fall. Um, it was no surprise. We knew we were picked last. Um, so it kind of put a little chip on our shoulder, kind of made us just be better competitors. And, and we're a good ball club, and, and we're going to continue to get better in the postseason. And we're going to use that chip uh, down the road as well. Steph? Logan, obviously we know, you know, for guys like Dakota and Hunter, you know, what it means to, to be here this season and get a chance to go back to the postseason. But for guys like you who came in, I guess just how much was that a goal of you know being a transfer to, to come in and help Mississippi State get back to the postseason? Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Um I wanted to I wanted to help this team go to Omaha, make a regional, host a regional, um, host a super, go to Omaha. That's my number one goal is to win, make the team around me better and and make this program, I mean, the best it can be. You know, you're going to play the late game on Tuesday night, and uh, basically all the other teams determine when you get to play. Do you have a preference there? I mean, sometimes do you get a little antsy while you're just waiting and waiting and waiting to get to play? I mean, yeah, but if you look back at this year, um, it seemed like every Friday night we had we had rain in the forecast. So we kind of just, it's like, it's a little joke in the clubhouse whenever they say play ball. We go out there, strap it on, and, and go compete. So we'll keep doing the same thing. The time doesn't matter to you, do. When they say play ball, we'll play ball. We'll compete. 